Often faculty don't realize that you can display additional information about a student in your Canvas gradebook. This can be helpful if you teach several sections of the same course that have been combined into one, or if you have a lot of group projects in your class and you want to know which group students are in. When you open your Canvas gradebook, at the top of the student name field, click the three dots to open options, and then look under the secondary info tab. You have some options here depending on what's been enabled in your course. This particular course is cross-listed, so maybe I want to know who is in one section and who is in the other. I can click on section and the information will show at the bottom. You can always expand these columns by sliding this over. Or another thing I use a lot in my classes is group information, and so maybe I want to know what group these students joined. Again, under secondary info, I can choose to choose the groups, and it will tell me which group the students had signed up for. The last thing that's often faculty need to know is what is the student's ID number? Um, and perhaps you want to see that. This can be helpful if you have many students who have similar names and you just are tracking by ID number. You can click on the three dots, secondary info, and then SSID. This will put the student's ID number right under their name. You also have the ability to sort how the student's names display in your gradebook. By default, it goes by first name, last name, but perhaps you want to rearrange that and do last name, first name. You have the option to change that. Keep in mind that you can always rearrange your gradebook to how you want it by clicking and dragging your different assignments around. Perhaps you want to move the total column to be right next to the student's name so you can keep an eye on how they're doing. When you scroll to the total column and click the three dots to open options, you have the option to move it to the front, which puts it right near the student's name, which can be very helpful for you. The last thing to draw your attention to is the gear icon and then view options. You have options of how your different assignments are arranged. Perhaps the default order is usually in the order that you created them, which may or may not be in what you want. Perhaps you prefer your assignments to be listed alphabetically or by the due date, by what's the most value, which module the assignment is in. So there's a lot of different ways you can arrange your gradebook to make more sense for you. Once you decide on how you want them arranged, you can click on this and then click Apply Settings.